Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. And today is a very, very special episode, not episode, basically a video for me because I will be, you know, discussing or talking to an artist whose entire life is about music and a part of his life is about cinema also. So I welcome the one and only Kesha to my channel. Thank you, Kesha, for being on my channel. And uh, so, uh, I mean, I'll ask Keshav to introduce himself, but I'm just going to let you know that me and Keshav, we have uh, known each other through YouTube family only. So I thank YouTube for, you know, uh, making, uh, you know, a new friend over here. And Keshav's uh, journey has been very, very uh, quite interesting, I would say. So he has worked on various films. He's working on his, you know, he's working on his original projects and he is a cinephile. Uh, so, without further ado, Keshav, I would like you to introduce yourself to the audience. Well, uh, thank you, first of all, for giving me this uh, platform of, uh, uh, you know, your channel where it's all about music, actually, where people come to listen to music specifically. And I'm sure they would also like to get introduced to new music and new artists uh, this way. So, I'm Keshav. I'm originally from Delhi, uh, met you last month. <laughs> uh, so I've been in Mumbai for three years now. I've studied in Chennai at KM Music Conservatory. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been uh, a very interesting up and down sort of a journey. Because when I came to Mumbai, the same year COVID followed and you know, the next one and a half to two years went uh, that also sort of derailed the momentum or the sort of progress that I was uh, actually wanting to get. Uh, but, you know, uh, right now where I am, that as well, I, I wouldn't have thought that, you know, uh, I'd be here one day. So I'm, I'm, I feel that sort of contentment uh, with where okay. I'm like, I, I'm not, I'm not uh, complaining about the fact that COVID came, it came for everybody. Uh, in fact, I'm, we should be grateful that, you know, we are still alive and we are doing what we want to do. So yeah, and so uh, thank you for inviting me. Uh, looking forward to the conversation. Okay. So Kesha, first though, I want to, because you're essentially a music musician. I know you through YouTube because of our love for cinema, right? So I just want to know, like how music happened to you? Was that like something which was, you know, you always wanted to do or was there some external source of inspiration that you got? Talk about that a little bit. Uh, so music was something which was running in my family from the from my mom's side. So jo mere mom ke jo father the, uh, he was a devotional musician. Wo bhajan kirtan kafi karte the and uh, his guests also used to come in the local market. He was probably the one through which through whom you know we that that seed of music that DNA of music uh, uh, sort of started in our family. Uh, and then my mom also uh, uh, did. Uh, take up music education and she uh, was a teacher at, at one point as well uh, so jinse meri mom ne sikha tha, uh, same uh, guru also taught me like when i started out and i was only six when i started so my parents put me very early into it because they would have seen some interest or inclination towards music uh, or they would have thought that you know it uh, it runs in the family and it's also like a, a good uh, thing apart from studies to you know keep him, himself engaged in to wo shuru se hi ek ghar mein mahol tha music ka hafte mein ek class hoti thi music ki to uh, from 6 to 16 i did uh, i had that regime like until class 10th uh, 9th or 10th i had that regime where i did hindustani classical and uh, and then boards came so i had to like uh, take a break after that but yeah so that's how it all started and uh, i mean uh, my parents didn't put me at that young age thinking that he'll become a professional musician one day. They just did it like just family me baki logo na music was you kiya tha as a as a hobby or something. They they just put me like that. But uh, after that, that you know when when you are in that uh, phase of your life, जहाँ पे आपको decide करना होता है whether you what you want to take up like after that eighth or ninth class in school, you know you. I think 99% Indian ladko ke dimag mein cricketer to aata hi aata hai, jo mere dimag mein bhi tha. I used to play uh, cricket from my school team and I still adore cricket, like, you know, cricket after this, cricket is my 
second uh, sort of a, I, I used to run a cricket YouTube channel also you also might not know that once I decided then you know by by uh, by the time school was ending and I had to like really make my parents uh, see the brighter side of it rather than the other because grass is always greener on the other side you know they they also wanted just like another parents who needed to do engineering kar le. I also cracked English honors so Hindu college uh, say I, I dropped out because I uh i was not really connecting with with the boring and long novels and everything you know it didn't feel like my cup of tea and then uh the same year movies like wake up sid and three did came so i took my parents to relatability bad gayi dekh ke so you know jo meri baat mein wazan nahi aa raha tha probably wo movies dekh ke wo weight aa gaya mere point mein and they finally gave up and they were like do whatever you want to and uh then and then i resumed music and then i got into western music from there on okay that's very interesting because i would assume ki jinke family mein wo ek background aur ek mahol hota hai wahan pe support zyada milta hai like i understand ki ha jinke family mein jo jaise normal job kar rahe hain and all of that and you are just pursuing it as a hobby and suddenly aap jaake bolte ho ki nahi mere ko ye field mein jana hai the resistance is much more so that's something very different because generally maine suna hai ki agar aapke family mein koi musical backgrounds hai ya koi creative backgrounds hai to they encourage you the kid they encourage the kids ki ha nahi aap bhi is field mein jao so maybe they were doing pros and cons did they find ki is industry mein zyada cons hai than pros uh, i mean it's it's with every household ki uh, unless somebody from from the family or in that background has actually gone into that industry and you know uh, peers right. through it right tab tak they don't know the inside out of the industry right they uh, and it's very easy to assume ki struggle zyada hai aur mm-hmm. security nahi hai aage you know you don't know how much you're going to earn or after what point you'll start earning good enough like even today like the kind of money i make it might be less than the kind of money i would have been making if for last few years i would have taken up engineering and uh, doing a corporate job and gone up the ladder of success i i might have been making more but it wouldn't have given me the satisfaction the inner peace which uh, making music gives me so uh, once uh, your parents understand that part of that aspect of your career and uh, your life that you know once and then it becomes easy for them to give you that freedom that uh, what matters more is the inner happiness and uh, where the interest lies rather than making more money right. with a farted uh, corporate job so once they that most of us in life <laughs> so once they got that clearer picture of uh, everything yeah. then it 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 became easier to convince them and उसके बाद फिर मैं चेन्नई चला गया वहां पे स्टडीटरी दैट वॉज ऑल्सो नॉट ऐसा नहीं है कि बस एक दिन ओवर नाइट ही हो गया और अगले दिन मैं चेन्नई चला गया देर वॉज लाइक बिट ऑफ महाभारत वहां भी लड़नी पड़ी मुझे द ऑप्शन इवन फॉर म्यूजिक कॉलेज आर नॉट टूडे बट बैक देन दे वर लिमिटेड एंड द कपल ऑफ गुड वंस आर वेरी वेरी एक्सपेंसिव एंड देन दिस वॉज विच इयर अराउंड टू थाउजेंड Well, I tried whistling goods, which is in Mumbai. I tried uh, KM K. Alaba Chennai. Me, or one or two colleges there. So they were very expensive. And I also actually, again, something new for you also. I uh, applied for FTI in Pune. Wow, in Pune. And I cleared the entrance also in in my first attempt. I went there for my orientation and interview. Um, but unluckily, I was in the waiting list. First on the waiting list. मतलब किसी ने सीट छोड़ी नहीं अपनी कोई क्यों छोड़ेगा तो कौन छोड़ रहा है एफटीआई में कौन छोड़ता है सीट जिनको दे सो लिमिटेड सीट्स इन एफटीआई मैन बट ओके आई डोंट नो दिस आल्सो दैट्स दैट्स ग्रेट एंड सो आई अप्लाइड फॉर साउंड इंजीनियरिंग एंड माय नेम वाज ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द वेटिंग लिस्ट एंड आई आई केप्ट थिंकिंग यार कोई तो अपनी सीट छोड़ो या एंड एंड द थिंग वाज कि उस टाइम पे एफटीआई में अल्टरनेटिव ईयर्स में एडमिशन होते थे सो आई कुडंट हैव वेटेड फॉर 2 इयर्स देन आई स्टार्टेड रिसर्चिंग मोर वेयर आई कैन गो एंड देन आई फाइनली फाउंड केएम इन चेन्नई एयर रहमानस म्यूजिक कॉलेज सो आई आई व्हेन आई लुक बैक नाउ इन हाइंडसाइड आई थिंक इट वाज अ ब्लेसिंग इन डिस्गाइज दैट आई डिडंट गो टू एफटीआई बिकॉज़ एफटीआई इज अ फिल्म मेकिंग ओरिएंटेड स्कूल वेयर आई वुड हैव लर्न less about music but more about sound and sound in films km on the other hand was completely musical oriented you know every day you are in that mahal of jam sessions and, uh, so so that way 
माई माइंड गॉट डेवलप इन डिफरेंट वे हैड आई गॉन्ट टू एफ टी आई आई तो मेरा अलग तरीके से माइंड डेवलप होता आई आई माइट नॉट हैव एक्चुअली टेकन अप ओरिजिनल म्यूजिक एज अ म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर आई वुड हैव प्रॉब्ली गॉन ऑन टू बिकम अ साउंड इंजीनियर इफ आई वुड हैव गॉन ऑन टू एफ टी आई सो सो दैट वंस वी फाइनलाइज विच कॉलेज इन विच सिटी इन विच कोर्स एंड एवरीथिंग फाइनली ऑन Fourth of January, twenty thirteen. I took. I had the flight to Chennai, which I missed. अच्छा, अच्छा ये सब भी हो चुका है. So adventurous था पूरा. पूरा. I think uh, autobiography मेरी बहुत uh, interesting. Uh, एक first chapter. Entertaining होने वाली है. So uh, I missed that flight, and uh, as a punishment to me that I never ever miss my flight, and I I am always on time. My dad then made me sit at the airport for the whole day. एंड जो नेक्स्ट फ्लाइट थी वो रात की थी सो सुबह की साढ़े नौ की फ्लाइट मिस करके रात की आठ साढ़े आठ की फ्लाइट मिली सो आई सैट ऑन द एयरपोर्ट होल्ड डे एंड देन फिफ्थ को आई रीच चेन्नई सिक्सथ को वेन आई वेंट टू के एम फॉर एडमिशन एन द फर्स्ट डे इट वॉज ए आर रहमान बर्थडे ऑल्सो दैट डे मेमरीज आर स्टिल सो विविड बिकॉज ऑफ द चेन ऑफ इवेंट्स राइट राइट सो फैंटिंग फ्रॉम कन्विंसिंग योर पेरेंट्स एंड पूरा क्योंकि आई एम श्योर दैट हैज बीन अ लॉन्ग प्रोसेस आल्सो फॉर यू क्योंकि एक माइंडसेट चेंज करना ऑफ पेरेंट्स जिनका एक कन्वेंशनल थिंकिंग होता है दैट्स अ बिग डील सो कांग्रेचुलेशंस टू यू फॉर डूइंग दैट एंड बिफोर वी टॉक अबाउट योर जर्नी इन द इंडस्ट्री आई वांट टू फर्स्ट टॉक अबाउट योर ओरिजिनल एल्बम व्हिच यू रिलीज्ड दिस ईयर व्हिच इज अ ह्यूज ह्यूज अचीवमेंट सो आई जस्ट वांट टू नो लाइक कैन यू टॉक अबाउट द थीम ऑफ योर एल्बम एंड हाउ मेनी ट्रैक्स आर देयर एंड what kind of you know genre we can expect while listening to these songs so there are uh, a few songs in the album which is by the name of aparna uh, it's it's named after somebody who had an impact in my life uh, not just musically but also uh, the kind of person i am today it uh, it 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 also has something to do with that person and uh, i think we learn more from our failures then uh, our success in life and it it applies to your relationships also you know uh, you sort of explore yourself as a person more and in my case as an artist more because of because the kind of songs that have come out of uh, that relationship um it, it's it's probably like a good by product in a way because it's like i am monetizing my pain <laughs> <laughs> so so these songs so these songs are not uh sad sad kind of songs there okay. are more of a um, they, they, these songs are about you know how i am thankful that she came into my life and how it was an experience that i still relish it's like a thank you note it's like a memoir of you know it's a timeless memory for me so i've documented it forever so in a, in in that sense like and these are not songs that i've composed now these these were the old songs they were lying there in my bank and i um wanted i was looking for the right opportunity and right time to do my first album now this year when i saw that you know my numbers are doing decently i have sort of a uh, an audience now on different audio streaming platforms i thought right. you know probably this, this is the right time to uh make use of uh the the momentum that i've got i am currently around uh 1 lakh monthly listeners on spotify almost 1 million on wink music these numbers were very inspiring uh, and uh, encouraging enough for me to then you know uh, finally decide ki chalo ab karte hain album these are the songs which are very close to my heart and i put more soul into these songs than any other songs i've done before so if i resonate so much with them i'm sure the audience is also going to love it like the kind of numbers this album has turned out since july since i started putting them out they are very overwhelming because a uh, couple of songs are at a million streams yeah on wink music a uh, couple of songs on spotify are on around uh, 2 lakh or something like that so um i am sure it has something to do with the honesty in 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 these pieces of music uh, the the intent with which i made because i never made it thinking that you know ye hit ho jaye ya fir views mujhe aa jaye because as i told i had composed them long back 
couple of years ago it's only that i'm releasing them now as a sense of getting a closure okay but did you think when you were composing these songs did you have this thing in mind ki nahi iska ek like this is going to be like a closure for me and i'm going to you know put this together as a full length album did you think that when you wrote the first song uh not the first song uh, so i so these songs were written uh, in a in a lengthy period of time in that span of time at the back of my mind the idea of that album kept getting bigger and bigger because at some at one point i had actually promised this person that one day i will uh, make an uh, album on about you about our story so this is also my way of keeping my promise you know um, that's sweet uh, that was actually on one of her birthdays and uh, i uh, so this is kind of like a birthday gift or a promise uh, that i am keeping and uh so so the songs once i had like these four five songs compiled together it only made sense to you know release them as an album because they are all interconnected in a way they are okay. part of the same narrative same story uh so that's why then i decided that you know instead of releasing them alag alag uh, i should release them in one flow under the same roof same album makes sense so abhi total kitne gaane hai is album mein there are um, So in this album, I have put four songs. Three are out, and the next one is coming uh, in December. The last one. There were other songs as well, which I had composed for the same person. But uh, it just happened that you know those songs um, got pitched somewhere, somewhere, and somebody got interested in them. So last year I did a song called "Yar Aya Hai." So a label was interested in that, and and then there is there is a Punjabi ghazal, which is again uh, some some other label is interested in, which I had also. wrote for the same person these are a couple of songs which which were not uh, unfortunately i couldn't put them in in the album there was one more song which i was supposed to uh, which was supposed to be in this album but as i told you last month i had this mishap i lost my data yes you told me that was really sad <laughs> so so that song was uh, in in that uh, mac drive and uh, one of the projects which i i lost so i have decided i i have taken it as a sign from the universe that oh, this song you have probably meant to be uh, a part of this album and at a later date then kabhi main usko alag se as a single i'll release it produce it once again from scratch so right now i'm closing this album next month with the title track with the title track so uh, guys i will obviously link all of his spotify wing on i'm going to play uh, put all the links in the description box so please go and listen to his songs and uh, by the way guys uh, ashmita has not heard because she's waiting for i am waiting for the last song to release so ek bar mein i'll make a full real marathon so main fir na story bhi connect kar paungi ki exactly okay as a start hua and you know this was the closure so that will make more sense so wo to hoga hi but i'll anyways link it for you guys so aap log zarur sunna mere se pehle hi sun lena to aap apne vichar de sakte ho jab main react karunga in gano pe so kesha apart from you know you doing music your own music you are also working in the industry uh first before you know i talk about your projects कितना मुश्किल होता है एक हम ये स्टोरीज बहुत सुनते हैं नो आउटसाइडर के लिए कितना मुश्किल होता है इंडस्ट्री में एक यू नो एंट्री पॉइंट लाना एंड ऑल हाउ वाज लाइक कैन यू टॉक अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट योर आई डोंट वांट टू कॉल इट स्ट्रगल बट योर जर्नी बेसिकली कि हाउ डिड यू एक्चुअली फाइंड दैट पाथ आई एम ग्लैड यू टुक द वर्ड आउट स्ट्रगल बिकॉज़ दिस इज समथिंग आई आल्सो फॉलो एंड अप्लाई इन माय ओन करियर दैट आई हैव नेवर एवर लेट द वर्ड स्ट्रगल यू नो हैम्पर माय माइंडसेट बिकॉज़ वंस दैट uh once it it comes into your uh, state of mind you know it can really really dent your progress and and the moment you replace the word struggle with process you you will start feeling better about your journey because once you understand that it's a process and it's different for everyone it it could be shorter for somebody else it right a little longer for somebody else it's not a competition i mean it's not sports that you know you everybody's on the starting line at the same time and then uh it, it's it's not that way so so yeah uh i i think um if i'm not wrong my first project that came into my lap was in uh 2017 i was still in chennai i was i was just fresh out of uh, km music conservatory i had finished my course of uh music uh, composition and music production okay. 
and uh, i i had known this director for some time i had done a few sh- a couple of short films with him uh, okay. back in the day so he was making a feature film uh, called life of an outcast so which is streaming on netflix now so he uh, approached me and uh, he's he knew that my course is done and i am okay ready to you know uh, work professionally so uh, that ended up becoming my first film which premiered at mami in 2018 and uh, in 2019 uh, it uh, released on netflix in in feb 25th feb if i'm not wrong and that was my cue then to move to bombay because i right. waited for the right moment and right time to make that big move to mumbai from chennai and uh, i thought once i have a feature film in my profile that you know i've done the whole background score and the uh, song in that it 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 sort of separates me from so much of rat race that's happening here you know because uh, having a film which is premiered at mami and streaming on netflix is a huge deal is a huge deal so so that's how i made that decision and i finally uh, moved to mumbai in uh, march of 2019 and uh, and then a few months later we were in lockdown a year later actually uh, so within that first year i i was barely making contacts uh, trying to make new music so that i can approach people with that uh, so yeah so it's been um, as you said i i still don't consider myself that i am a part of the industry or something because most of my work still has been uh, on the independent side numbers i have generated so far they are mostly my independent songs which i have done on my own for myself uh, I, the films i have done are mostly like background score based they are not song centric films where i can say that you know us film ke song ki wajah se uh, i have these kind of numbers like i have done four films so far uh, the recent one is called mariam which premiered at uh, busan international festival in october uh, last month so i have done the score for that so yeah so the the, the the film stuff i have done mostly is independent films background score and the song stuff is mostly my own so so yeah i i would still not consider myself as a part of the industry i think even still right now where i am uh, i am happy with this balance that i have struck between doing film work and uh, doing this uh, independent my own stuff okay. apart from that like you know sometimes a few things surprisingly or unexpectedly uh, just fall into your lap like uh, if you remember i i was a part of brahmastra yes how was the experience that was a very fulfilling experience i mean literally the biggest film uh, budget wise the way i saw the workflow in a professional environment uh, so many people were involved like you know hundreds of musician worked on the background score of uh, that humongous project and so i was basically a part of the indian choir in the background score so okay. people who have seen the film uh, all the sanskrit chants and shlokas uh, that were coming throughout the background score i was uh, uh, taking care of the indian choir uh, a part for uh, pritam da uh, so those 10 days were uh, it was a learning experience because i also do background score so i got to learn so much and you know i i can apply so many things that i've learned working there uh so yeah so as i said these kind of things are kind of like a perk or an incentive living in mumbai once you start making enough contacts correct your music starts reaching the right and relevant ears you know people uh, then start taking you a little more seriously not just because of the numbers you are generating but also because of the kind of music you made or the kind of musicality you have developed over the years and jo uh, music ki samajh jis tarah ki hai to you know they could have chosen somebody else also with this responsibility of forming a team of indian choir and you know selecting the right people and <clears throat> heading sort of that team that coordinating the whole team but it came to me probably because they would have seen uh, <laughs> my journey or the kind of music i am making or the musicianship understanding that i have uh so so that was a wonderful experience and uh we were talking just before this uh, interview started uh, about last night also which which just happened like out of the blue so um uh, i have so i'm never until last night i had never performed live okay right. i am more of a studio musician ki jo studio mein baith ke music banate hain aur release karte hain right. and i always used to wonder ki 
when is it going to be the right time to get to that first gig you know when would i fetch that uh, opportunity or should i need to work more on myself so that you know i'm ready when the right time comes and just last week uh, i get this uh, message out of the blue from my uh, college uh, uh, academic head who, um, in km the chennai uh, wala jo college hai so he texted me that you know there is this event happening at rolling stone again huge deal something every musician wants to uh, you know be at and um, so he said there is an event where uh, they are uh, inviting a few independent musicians uh, and we want you to represent km you know our college so i was like wow this is perfect timing because um, i think right now the kind of momentum i have picked up in my streaming numbers it makes sense to branch out now to the live aspect of the career and uh, see how how people react to the songs i make how i react to the situation because studio mein baith ke to bahut kaam kar liya but live is all live experience kuch aur hi hota hai there's always a first time and it so happened that yesterday was my first time which was very very overwhelming and i was awestruck by the fact that samne jo audience mein log the i had no idea who all over coming first of all i was like ki rolling stone ka in house event hai kuch corporate wale log honge kuch thoda liquor vicker hoga sath mein aaram se slow music enjoy karenge so the first uh, meri jo sound check hui hai pehle mere se pehle sound check pe dsp sir the who who is uh, you might be aware he has done music for so many south films shri valli and uh, mm-hmm. पुष्पा में था उनका म्यूजिक अभी दृश्यम टू में था सो ही वाज डूइंग साउंड चेक एंड आई वाज लाइक वाओ समबडी लाइक दैट गाय इज परफॉर्मिंग टू नाइट इट्स अ बिग डील प्लस इट 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 पुट्स अ बिट ऑफ अ प्रेशर ऑन यू एज वेल बट अ गुड काइंड ऑफ प्रेशर यू नो लाइक इट्स नॉट कि आप घबरा जाते हो वैसा प्रेशर नहीं इट्स लाइक अ अ गुड फीलिंग इनसाइड दैट वाओ यू नो आई मस्ट हैव डन समथिंग राइट दैट आई हैव बीन इनवाइटेड टू परफॉर्म हियर सो सो दैट and uh, coupled with other few artists uh, uh, there was pritham i i i never met pritham da during brahmastra he he, was, he never came to the studio and yesterday i finally met him and i told him that i worked on the film as well and uh, uh, i also met uh, so many people i have grown up listening and idolizing and admiring you know amitabh bhattacharya shalmali uh, who who has been uh, i have been listening to her for 10 years or more and she was kind enough to talk at length about my performance i i, I just played the first note on keys i look up and farhan akhtar walks in <laughs> right in front of me and you probably had like an out of body experience <laughs> yeah, because because aap jidhar nazar ghuma udhar ek celebrity nazar main performance khatam karke wapas aaya hu and i'm just having a sip of water and i looked back and jackie shroff is there with his daughter it was a one of its kind experience and especially for the fact that it was my first time so i i don't know if you have seen the office uh, but uh, the office ke that's what she said jokes both famous hai so i actually opened up my set with a that's what she said joke because i was kind of wanting to break the ice with the audience and also you know um, just calm myself down a bit ek to upar se thand itni zyada lag rahi thi wahan pe mujhe because the ac was too uh, too too uh, on the high side and uh, so i just wanted something to you know let me ease into the process and uh, once i started like i i did luckily found office fans in the house <laughs> so related to that joke uh, then there was if you know this comedian called aditi mittal she, she was so she uh, she and i were talking before i went on to the stage and uh, she was very supportive and you know she she promised me that If nobody else, she would pakka, she would shout karegi or hoot karegi. My performance, <coughs> man, gave so much confidence on the stage. So, so yeah. So all in all, uh, 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 an experience that I am never going to forget because not just because of the fact that it was my first gig, but also performing in front of so many incredible artists that I have grown up admiring. You know, I went to washroom twice, and both the times I ended up running into Siddharth Madhavan. So. <laughs> and i i mean you know stories like these also work for you because then those people remember you <laughs> i i ran into rochak kohli who is a composer and uh, he was uh, 
मेरे गाने के बारे में बात कर रहे थे एंड आफ्टर ऑल द टॉक एंड आई वाज लाइक सॉरी आई डिडंट कैच योर नेम बिकॉज़ आई आई डिडंट नो हिम बाय फेस आई नो हु रोचक कोहली इज मतलब से नहीं जानता था उन्हें एंड पूरी कॉन्वर्सेशन खत्म होने के बाद आई एम लाइक एक पागलों की तरह मैं पूछ रहा हूं सॉरी व्हाट इज योर नेम सो आई 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 थिंक this is something which will stay with me for 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 a very long time yeah and so very i mean these are like very uh, milestone type experiences that you can have uh, in your journey basically so that's really cool because i'm really glad you got that opportunity maybe you never know ki iske baad because of that cascading effect ya iska koi ripple effect ho ke aage koi opportunity mil jaye ki nahi yeah yeah and shalmali said such a beautiful thing last night she said uh, there's always somebody who will be hearing you so you mm-hmm. never know ki wahan kal mujhe kisne kaha sunao if a note struck with them or you know uh, if kal ko i meet them somewhere else as well and you know they see this consistency uh, in my performances or my music right. and tomorrow you know that can then prosper into something bigger you never know uh, right. ki kal kisko pata nahi kuch potential dikh gaya ho to kal ko right. mere kaam aa sakti hai so uh, i just needed that first one to get away with mm. so that first gig has happened and happened in a very grand way grander than i expected so now kyunki pehle wala hi is tarah experience ho gaya to you know after this i'm sure <laughs> from my second one i'll be a much more confident and more of a pro guy than you know oh, that's amazing i also wanted to ask you ki obviously i mean you are trying to you know make a mark for yourself in the industry also maybe as as an original composer you want to probably shy you are going in that direction jahan pe you want to compose uh, songs for you know a feature film and all of that uh, so obviously wo journey mein to ups and downs rahenge i want to ask like as a as an artist also you probably have your high days jaise kal raat ko tha you had a great experience uh, how do you like manage your own expectation ki kabhi bahut hi kharab experience rahe to how do you tackle that as an artist you know it shouldn't affect you that much because the industry can be harsh right Uh, see, it can be harsh if you think it can be harsh. Yesterday, the, uh, the, I was kind of fighting these feelings yesterday as well when uh, a few notes went here and there, and you know, I I uh, didn't feel good about uh, those little bit of screw ups in between, some some miking issues, some because it was my first time performing on stage, and you know, you have to get used to the whole environment. लोग सिर्फ वहां सुन नहीं रहे होते अपनी बातें भी चल रही होती हैं इट्स इट्स नॉट अ पेड एंड कम टू जस्ट वॉच यू इट्स सो काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स एंड देन यू नो ओवरऑल बाय द बाय द ओकेजन सो दोज थिंग्स काइंड ऑफ एडेड अप इन दोज मोमेंट्स हेयर एंड देयर वेयर आई सैंग अ फ्यू रॉन्ग नोट एंड दोज फीलिंग्स एक्चुअली डिड कम टू माई माइंड लास्ट नाइट एज वेल वेदर ऑल दीज पीपल आर जस्ट बींग स्वीट टू मी ऑन माई फेस दैट दे एंजॉय माई सॉन्ग्स और वेदर दे एक्चुअली मीन इट एंड दे दे नो दैट यू नो फॉर अ फर्स्ट टाइम और दे कैन कट मी समैक एंड दीज थिंग्स हैपन टू एवरीबडी टू द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एंड यू नो ही स्टिल अर न्यू बी सो सो दोज दोज thoughts will always come but what matters is at the end aap kaun se thought ko overway karne dete ho see it it could have gone even worse i have, i have to feel contentment with the fact that jitna mila wo bhi ummeed se zyada hi mil gaya so i have to see the glass half full sure in fact True. jo gana maine kal perform kiya mera ek gana haste haste jis pe you reacted yes i know that song beautiful song usi mein ek line hai ki sabka apna apna nazariya glass aadha khali hai pura after a long uh, hour of overthinking finally thought that you know uh main ye kyun soch raha hu ki yaar is se better ho sakta tha main ye bhi to soch sakta hu ki isse kharab bhi ja sakta tha at the end of the day you know uh, after my performance dsp sir came to me and he said he liked my song i mean somebody like him doesn't need to sugar coat unko kya milega mujhe jhooti tareef karke uh, so a lot of other people also uh, said that they love the confidence that i showed for a first time on stage um so those compliments i think mean more mm-hmm. and uh, your question of uh, that as an artist you know i think i i have i've never really um let my that that negative thing seep through completely like wo har ek ke जर्नी में कभी ना कभी वो एक थॉट आता ही आता है दिस इज नेवर गोइंग टू बी अ वन डायमेंशनल स्मूथ जर्नी सो व्हेन व्हेन दोस लोस कम 
all you have to do is just play the long game you know uh, play the waiting game and if 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 you know that your music is good good music will always find its audience sooner or later until march this year uh, i had zero monthly listeners on bink music zero i am touching 1 million so from march to november i am i have uh, i i have created this sort of an audience in these months on spotify until july this year i had 100 listeners and now i am touching 1 lakh so it's all about your mindset whether uh you believe in your skills your um your art or not if you do then all those external factors ki kitna time lag raha hai ki koi sun nahi raha hai mere gaane ya fir koi aisa project ka milega jisse main viral ho jaun ya kuch ho jaye those external factors won't matter if if you think that you know ki aapki music mein aap aapki jo bhi art hai aapki jo bhi field hai if if there is something that uh makes you stand out फ्रॉम द क्राउड देन देर सवेर वो निकल ही जाएगा सो मैंने तो ये सीखा है अभी तक एंड मैं भी कोई ये नहीं बोल रहा हूँ कि भाई अब तो मैं बन गया मैं तो पहुंच गया ये जो मेरे आज जो लिस्नर्स जो नंबर है कल को एक दो गाने मेरे अच्छे ना लगे लोगों को तो दिस विल कम डाउन सो द बिगर चैलेंज नाउ इज टू मेंटेन दिस काइंड ऑफ नंबर एंड द मोमेंटम की मेकिंग बैक द ऑलरेडी गुड म्यूजिक विद इवन बेटर म्यूजिक यू नो but do you think that like you were talking about numbers right now do you like of course for a lot of artists like someone for like someone for me also like jaise youtube mein hum log karte hai to hame views dekh ke thoda motivation milta hai and all of that but do you think that in some point maybe at some point obsessing with the numbers could also prove detrimental kya wo creative process mein hindrance laega do you think that uh wo tab nahi hoga ki jaise एज आई सेट कि इस साल के शुरू तक मेरे कोई नंबर्स नहीं थे एज सच बट मैं वो नंबर्स के लिए सॉन्ग्स बना ही नहीं रहा था उसकी भी बात की जो मैंने एल्बम की बात की जब मैंने वो सॉन्ग्स बनाए थे तब मैंने एल्बम सोच के नहीं बनाए थे मैंने ये सोच के नहीं बनाए थे कि यार ये गाना तो मचा देगा आई जस्ट केप आई बिन मेकिंग सॉन्ग्स फॉर द लास्ट फोर फाइव ईयर्स सो ना मैं कभी ऐसे पैसों का सोच के किए कि इससे इतने पैसे बन जाएंगे या फिर नंबर्स का सोच के एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट द रिजल्ट्स आई एम गेटिंग नाउ ना उससे आई एम आई एम नॉट गेटिंग लाइक ओवरवेल्म बाय दीज नंबर्स बिकॉज मेरी एक्सपेक्टेशन ही नहीं थी कभी उस तरह की और और जब ये नीचे भी जाएंगे अगेन आई वॉन्ट बी टू वर्क बिकॉज आई एम आई एम नॉट लेटिंग दैट गेट बेटर ऑफ मी या सो मुझे वही लगता है कि हर गाना किस्मत लेके आता है अपनी अगर उस गाने में वो बात है तो वो आगे तक पहुंचेगा बाई प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दैट इज मनी एंड द स्ट्रीम्स एंड द फेम ऑल कम्स डाउन टू द काइंड ऑफ सॉन्ग यू मेक एंड राइट द इंटेंट विद विच यू क्रिएटेड एंड आफ्टर दैट जस्ट लीव इट Uh, on its own fate so i want to talk also about your musical inspiration throughout your journey like are there like a set of people that you really really look up to or do you think that nahi inki jo journey hai main unse inspired ho like who who's your icon in the industry it could be from our industry or outside also i have i have uh, listened to a lot of artists so kuch logo ki जर्नी ने इंस्पायर किया है कुछ लोगों के म्यूजिक ने इंस्पायर किया है कुछ लोगों की जिस पर्सनालिटी ने इंस्पायर किया है सो यू नो डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ डिफरेंट पीपल देन सॉर्ट ऑफ आल्सो एड्स अप टू क्रिएट अ वर्जन ऑफ योर सेल्फ जैसे मेरे अंदर जो म्यूजिकल इन्फ्लुएंसेस हैं वो अलग अलग लोगों के हैं पर्सनैलिटी जो ट्रेट्स हैं वो कुछ और लोगों से शायद मैंने पिक किए होंगे जिनसे मैं इन्फ्लुएंस हूँ और जैसे बींग बींग एन आउटसाइडर हु इज ट्राइंग टू मेक uh this uh journey and you know make something out of nothing to wo wali jo ek journey hai wo shayad kisi aur ne mujhe inspire kiya hoga who also would have made uh, a name for himself or herself uh, as an outsider so that way um i think 99% indian musicians ki list mein rahman sir ka naam to hota hi hai and it's not just the music but also the kind of person he is uh the humble uh, person he is and um him and uh, india mein agar aap abhi filhal baat karo so this sunday i i went to uh, this uh, thing called spoken fest jo mumbai mein har saal hota hai and 
I had such a long desire to watch Sid Sri Ram live, and I finally watched him. He's my favorite singer. I consider him the best singer, uh, and I finally got to see him. So he's somebody I am inspired by. Bahar, if we talk about I am inspired by the journey of Ali Zafar. He started with uh, making portraits outside of an outside of a hotel uh, for five hundred bucks. You know that's how he started and. at the peak of his career from a different country he was in a leading role in a yrf film in india that sort of a trajectory and the fact that he is also kind of an uh, kind of a jack of all trades uh, i relate to that as well because i write lyrics i sing i compose songs i produce i edit right. my videos uh, i run youtube channel so right uh, so those traits i have i've uh, picked from there um and musically uh, if you talk about west i have a couple of people that who have really shaped up my music over the years there's hanzimer and uh, there is uh, alexandre despla who is a, okay. a french composer but he works in hollywood films he has done harry potter okay and uh, imitation game and uh, the shape of water all these films uh, so these two composers are people who have help me uh who have influenced my musicality and when i do my scores these are the people i go to to get some inspiration and you know uh inki film dekh ke kafi aise ideas aate hain aapko and just recently like if i have to pick one name out of my playlist if i want to recommend to your audiences as well there is an art- artist called uh, lizzy michael pine uh she is an american singer songwriter and uh, she uh, did this album called 5 seconds flat so i i came across that album this year in april or may and uh, randomly on spotify and it's been on loop since then like meri album mein bhi jo jis tarah ka music production kaam maine kiya it's very much influenced by the sound she has been making so that is uh, one i would love i would love to recommend to everybody great great so before we wrap up I want to ask what uh, what is there in the pipeline? Like what's uh, what's cooking for twenty twenty three for you? For twenty twenty three, so I hope that uh, this recent film, first of all, which I did, which went to Busan, it comes to some Indian OTT. Uh, there's another film which I did last year, which is also completed. So that is also supposed to come either a theatrical release or directly OTT. There is another film which which I have to work on uh, as a score composer and uh, there there was there's my i think there's a song in that as well a song or two okay. so that is there and then once i'm done with this album uh, by december i i want to actually take a little bit of a break last few months since march i've released a song almost every month or every one and a half months so you know i need to now uh, unlearn things and then start a fresh and uh, because this year has been about a similar kind of a sound and similar kind of songs who, which were a family so i think it's time that i uh, go back to basics and try something new now uh, i w- i am i'm looking forward to do some fast paced tracks as well which i have not done much so far so um yeah i mean i have never ever planned as such like okay. agar last year aapne mujhse pucha hota ki 2022 ka kya plan hai i would have never guessed in my wildest of dreams ki yaar brahmastra aa rahi hai bas us pe main chahta hu ki main kaam kar lu aur main bade bade celebrities ke samne apni pehli performance de dun and uh, so so it's i i don't even know what i'm doing a month from today uh, there is this saying called uh, only dead fishes go with the flow so aisa bhi nahi hai ki i am just main bas baith gaya hu aur jo ho raha hai hote rehne to uh, it it's more of staying in the present like whatever right. has come to uh, come to you you know wo jo rumi ka quote hai what you seek what seeking you so what comes your way uh, in in that present moment just give you 100% to it because you take care of the present like that the future will take care of itself so i think that's a great way to actually end this uh, you know i end our talk also amazing amazing you know on a very positive and a very philosophical note so uh, thank you so much keshav for uh you know taking out the time and being on the channel and talking about your entire journey uh and uh, on this channel i specifically opened this channel 
for music reactions and stuff like that so there there are essentially you know music listeners uh song listeners on this particular channel so uh please go and check out uh, keshav's music i'm going to link everything in my description yeah so it's it's been great keshav i mean i feel that i mean even if we have interacted specifically you know uh, on movies uh, i feel that i've gotten to know you a little bit better through this talk of ours so once again thank you so much <laughs> for uh, coming to the channel I was looking forward to this chat for so long because हम कब से plan कर रहे थे and you know, you had to go to Chennai and then you had to go to Mumbai and everything. I mean, even in Delhi, when we met last month, we didn't get right. as much time to interact. Uh, so this was long due, and uh, thank you. I hope that you know people who are going to watch this. First of all, अगर यहाँ end तक उन्होंने देख लिया तो thank you so much. Hopefully, after this interview, if you check out my songs. uh i hope that you know they they end up becoming a part of your playlists and um they add value to your playlist as well so once again keshav thanks a lot a great insight great chat and yeah guys thanks for watching once again hope you guys enjoyed watching this and uh, okay bye bye good night have a nice day jo kabhi na humne socha बीते सालों हकीकतों में ढलते देखा और जो सोचा कि ऐसा होगा वैसा छोड़ो ना उसके कुछ करीब भी हुआ जिंदगी ने बताया कि हाँ होता हर दिन यहाँ पे नया है इसी में छुपी खूबसूरती इन तजुर्बात से तू बना जो कभी ना हमने सोचा बीत साल हकीकतों में डलते देखा